We are at Walmart. Uh, I don't ever park in the front. I always park on the side of the building. It's closer to the entrance and whatnot. But um, today I'm going to go hunting for Clarence Halloween candy. Um, Halloween candy apparently is still selling. I've sold six bags of Halloween candy this morning. And today's November 1st. So um, I'm going to go inside. We're going to go hunt and see what we can find. I'm hoping Walmart will have their candy at least half off. And hopefully I can walk out with quite a bit of bags. But um, today I'm going to go to a few stores. I want to see what I can do for recording. Um, hopefully the video goes well. This is my first um, video using my GoPro I just got yesterday. So uh, wish me luck when I go uh, Halloween candy hunting. I'll be back later. All right, I just got done with Walmart. I wanted to record inside, but they literally cleared out the Halloween aisle and they just stuck everything on pallets. So nothing was organized. They had pallets of candy. Most of it was picked through already. Um, they even put stuff that wasn't on sale over there. So I just, just grabbed cases of stuff because I sell mostly a lot of bundles of this candy. So I was just grabbing just full on boxes. So I actually had to put back three boxes that they had with the 50% off sign on the box because they wouldn't give it to me for 50% off. But I still ended up buying, I think about 160 bags of candy. It's only like three or four different kinds. This was still full price, but I could still make money on it. But that's what I got from Walmart. Most of it's gonna be bundled. And, um, but yeah, it was kind of frustrating because they had signs on all the boxes, even stuff that wasn't on sale, and they wouldn't honor it. So that's kind of frustrating. But um, I'm going to go to the next store. So um, see you at the next stop. All right, I'm at my next stop. I'm pulling up to Target. We've got a Target at the mall here. I don't know if you can see the sign up there. But yeah, I'm at Target. I'm going to see what they got for candy. Most of the candy I sent in for Halloween came from Target, so I'm pretty excited to be here. Um, I'll see if I get video inside, depending on what they've done with their, their candy and where it's at and stuff. And, um, you know, Target's not really reseller friendly, so we'll see what I can do. So, wish me luck. Alright, so I'm in Target, and I've already found a couple things. I need to check the prices on this, but this is something I sold quite a few of. And on my screen, the sales rank's a little low. Sorry about that. But here, you know, the profit's $14.59. I don't know what the price is, but I think they're about $2 a bag maybe. They just don't have any pricing on anything here. But this is what they got left for candy. So let's see here. Those didn't sell well. These weren't good. These, the price kind of tanked on these. But they should, if 50 percent off they're like a dollar 50 a bag so let's see here let's scan it so a bundle of four individual bags here and a six pack so the individual bags 716 so for 411 at a dollar 50 a bag I can make some money so I'm gonna grab what they got of those here so like these didn't sell well um, any of those uh, m, m ones didn't sell well but let's scan them anyways because I checked them all through the holiday season so let's see so the sales rank is 387,000 so you don't want to buy those because it's just not going to sell. So I did sell quite a bit of Tootsie Rolls here. So these are 8.87 each. So at a dollar fifty a bag, I can make like two dollars each. And see, these are cool because these aren't just Halloween themed um, candy. These are. You know, people buy Tootsie Rolls year round. So, that should be about enough of those. 
These were good too. I even sold some of these yesterday. So these should be going for like $10 a bag. Uh, yeah, right here. So for one bag, it's sold for 124, 74 um, reviews. And these I think were 228 or something a bag. So they'll be like a dollar 14. So let me grab these two. So let me go with that. The glow in the dark candies didn't sell well. Oh, here's more of the extreme. This let me make sure. I always scan just in case it's a different size or something. So yeah, these are sold in fours. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Perfect. Oops, I dropped a couple. Those M&Ms didn't sell well. I don't think the Skittles did either. Let's check. Two pack for $12.89. So these should be good. So we get them in groups of two. Five, six, eight. Sixteen. Let's check these Reese's. These are Halloween themed. But let me see what they do. And I just use a seller app to keep it simple. See, these never sold. There's no sales rank on them, so they didn't sell any during the holiday season. Let's check Junior Mints. Junior Mints are yummy. I didn't sell any Junior Mints um, during the holiday season, though. So the sales rank's not good, and the price is really low, so you don't want to touch those. Let's see what's on the next aisle over. Okay, the candy corn, uh, the UPCs didn't match here. So let's see. None of those sold well. So this looks like it's going to be the last thing here. What are the brownie bites? Alright, that's not even on Amazon. The pumpkin pie, I think I have a ton of these in stock. The price tanked on these ones. Yeah, actually that one never sold, so it was a different skew. These, I sold four bags of these this morning. So these are actually priced at $3.59, so they'll be $1.80 a bag here. So yeah, I would double my money on these, and they're sold individually. So let's get all of that, and this is going to be it for this store. Um, I'll catch you at the next stop. All right, so I'm back home. I only went up to the, the two different stores the Walmart and the Target. I got distracted by going to Ross and Dee's discounts and stuff. But for uh, my candy, I ended up with 13 different SKUs, 188 total pieces of inventory. My sales rank is 71,714 on average, which is good because I stay under 100,000 in grocery. You know, my my uh, revenue is going to be about 1,900. Spent about $400 on clearance candy. And my net profit's $583. You know, so it's going to be really good. Uh, going to make all that money back. You know, people still buy candy all through Christmas. You know, not much of it was Halloween themed except for this bag of Skittles. So I expect it to all be gone before Christmas gets here. You know, I bought like 64 bundles of these caramels or 64 items of the caramels and about 40 bags of these Skittles. But, you know, stuff like that will sell year-round. So not much of it was Halloween-themed except for this one item, which is more of what I was looking for. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching my video. If you guys can like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Um, 
this is my first uh, video made with my GoPro and doing this type of video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.